This is Kibera Slam in Nairobi. Pipes with fresh water run through sewer tunnels. For a long time, residents have been suffering under these unhygienic conditions. But there is hope. Now a connection of blue pipes run above the slums shanties. They provide residents with clean and cheap water. All thanks to Kennedy Odede. Growing up here in this community, it was a really, really tough life. First of all, water was scarcity. Was, I remember walking to Kenya Science, which is far, to go and fetch water there, you know, cutting it on my shoulder. And then seeing also my neighbor at night who was sick and dying because there's no health care. Having grown up in Kibera and experienced the effects of unsafe water firsthand, Kennedy Odede founded the NGO Shofko. But he would soon face fierce opposition from the so-called water cartels. The idea of water was very special to me. It was a little bit uh, dangerous at the same time <laughs> because we have people who make a lot of money. Uh, we call them cartels. Very powerful, powerful men in this community. The cartels run their own water system, selling overpriced and unhygienic water, and they put an end to any competition with brutal methods. My dream was uh, to bring clean, affordable water to the community. But my pipes were cut into pieces. <laughs> Although he was afraid of the cartels, Kennedy decided to approach Mandevu. Back then, he was a gang member and leader of the water mafia. I look for Mandefo. I look for the minister of water at Shofko. And then I'm like, what? What do you mean? And then uh, we talked a little bit. And then I tell him, how much do you want me to pay you? He really created a really small amount of money. Yeah. Believe it or not, that's how it started. And nobody ever touched the water. For Mandevu, it wasn't an easy decision to switch sides and work for the NGO instead of a cartel. It took six months for me to agree to work with him. Because I feel like a human African person that is a young person to me. He cannot be my employer. I was not sleeping. But now he's happy with his new job. I feel very proud because I'm doing what I should do to the community. Reaching out to former gang members like Mandevu was the key to making this community service work. The price of water reduced to one-fifth of the former price, and the quality is better. To ensure the water meets the safety standards, Kennedy installed a water purifying system. It's the only one in the Kibera slum. So the water comes from the borehole. Borehole is pumped to the raw water tank outside, which is 24,000 liters, comes in to be now to be treated. So now the water is now drinkable. And then we pump it now to the bigger tank. From here, the water is then distributed. So this is our clean water. I want to drink it to show you that it's clean. Mm. Tastes good. Yeah, there's some taste I feel because it's well-treated water. Kennedy truly embodies the spirit of the saying, water is life. He and his employees are helping their beloved community, one drop at a time.